Hi, this is a uh, sort of review for Flamers by Nicholas Fisk. Um, I don't really do reviews on his channel as such. Um, so Flamers by Nicholas Fisk is um, book one on my um, booktube spin. Uh, selected because it was the uh, thinnest of the uh, sci-fi paper books, paperbacks that I had <laughs> um, under 90, oh, 96 pages. And uh, everything about this um, story, which I think is a uh, children's science fiction book, um, the main character Michael, spelt M Y K L, uh, is um, 13 years old, and I think that's who the um, book is aimed at. Uh, Michael, our main character, is um, marooned uh, on a planet called Splatterbang. <laughs> A great name. Um, sort of a uh, referred to as a um, hellhole type plant. It has this um, cute little note there at the start. Middle <laughs> school. So I think that's why it has the name Splatterbang. Uh, and um, this planet is inhabited by these flamers, which are sort of a um, non-intelligent, um, mostly uh, fire uh, native species of splatterbang. Uh, and flamers is where the uh, title comes in. And the uh, flamers, they, um, they eat metal. So um, the uh, rescue mission for Michael is um, quite uh, difficult. Um, <clears throat> um, while on a planet, um, Michael is uh, in this um, habited bit uh, along with his um, highly intelligent um, computer called Ego which is basically an Alexa <laughs> or sort of the um, uh, the computer from Star Trek really um, Ego makes food meals um, Ego controls the uh, temperature um, you know, analyze whatever things outside, um, various, perform various meteorological, um, assessments, um, and relay sort of, um, transmissions from other ships. Um, so Michael is, um, marooned on his planet, he's separated from his parents, um, who eventually um, come back and rescue him. The, um, I think it's a, uh, they don't use a, um, metal ship. This sort of a plastic and something else ship. And uh, they use, um, a specific type of filament so that the, um, the flamers don't, uh, attack the ship. There's this, um, really good diagram here of the uh, life cycle of the flamers so it's got quite a good bit of um, science in it so it's definitely science fiction um, and I think I did uh, understand um, I won't say Although it does sound exciting, I wouldn't say it's exciting as such. Um, it's 
a good um, simple story uh, of this um, uh, 13 year old who gets um, marooned on a difficult planet and he befriends a uh, Romney which is a um, gypsy uh, Amina who uh, I think is the same age or maybe a year younger um, I think Romney really sounded similar to Romanian which um, uh, I don't know <laughs> it seemed a bit like lazy right to me um, a gypsy although I can't remember if she was native to the planet or if she just inhabited the planet um, although she um, chooses to stay on the planet um, it's uh, a cute little story really um, good for anybody who's um, interested in getting into science fiction although um, I think it's quite a uh, very average story I would say um, three stars uh, good not bad not great just um, middle of the road good <laughs> so next up I will be reading um, Fate or F-A-T-E uh, number one Galaxy of the Lost by Gregory Kern um, so it's quite um, an adventure thing I don't know what um, age group it's aimed at um, I think the majority of science fiction is thought of or is um, targeted towards um, teenage males I think that's sort of the demographic that was thought of as being science fiction for the longest time um, there's quite a lot of exceptions to that and um, I think there's a lot of writers who sort of go against that but um, for so long it's um, been thought of as uh, science fiction specifically teenage males really um, and this is uh, 110 pages. I don't know how long it'll take me to read that. And uh, I don't know if I'll do a review. Um, we'll see. Uh, I think that's everything. Thanks for watching. Bye.